Good morning, what's up everybody uh, up with Third Eye Cam. Today's date, June 19, 2021. The time is 6.05 in the morning. Um, I'm up, I had to wake up and drop some peoples off. And uh, gas up my car and I began to look up. And I think, I think, I think, I don't know yet. I'm thinking you can see the sun rising. I looked above the sun right here and I think this is a planet. What I'm looking at is the lateral lines right here, bending around. And there's a lit side right here. And there's the bottom of the planet. I want to get some pictures. And I'm also looking at this uh, asteroid pat patterns right here. Asteroid, 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 asteroid. Even uh, over here, some lateral bands. I think it's another planet right here sitting in this cloud it's hard to tell it's really hard to tell and that one looks like it's extending over here i'm seeing these lateral land bands and there's an asteroid right there his tail more asteroids but i'm seeing a lot of lateral bands and look how the sky is just turning right here the, the cloud the cloudage so i'm seeing the band right here and it's spinning up right here and it's got clouds wisping behind it like it's funneling like a planet. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not trying to take you on a uh, false journey. We're trying to figure this out. I sincerely am trying to figure this out because um, last night I was back here in the same spot and uh, I was filming the moon sitting right here in the west, right here where this cloud was. And Space Force came and X'd out the moon, so I pulled out my night vision and started looking around the moon. And there was a thick cloud layer over here. I think there's another planet right here. I think behind these clouds. Like I said, we're trying to figure this out. This is crazy. I've never encountered anything like this in my life. And I'm standing out here also to see if this thing moves as a unit and just look at how like when the sun's coming up right here this is lit up and then it goes into darkness if the, if indeed the light of the sun is going around then it should be um shooting through and there should be no shadowing there should be no darkness that's the catch and then you see a terminator line right here this terminator line and then right here is the pool so it's above my head whatever it is this is crazy and then look how all these clouds are banding out. Clouds just don't band in a pattern unless they're being pulled. Just like water in a funnel. When you put suds in there, you watch the, the water weave, wave out. Uh, or those black holes with the light being pulled. Whatever this is, is emanating that same pattern. So you got spirals right here. You got spirals right here. And then you got all these rocks being pulled. I'm telling you, this is crazy. I really think I'm onto something, but nobody's saying anything, and these things are so far out that <sighs> you know this is it's a sickening feeling when you want to know. That's why I'm doing this. I'm very curious because I'm seeing something in the sky that don't make sense. Like there's our regular sky blue at the horizon. Then when it gets here, it gets dark. Then you see these little lateral lines spinning. You see the cloud formations. Then it gets bright here with the sun this is very sickening because I want to know and I think this is another planet coming up right here these lines this outlay hard to tell it's very sickening because I want to know damn it nobody playing games here I promise y'all wouldn't waste my time or y'all's big up to followers anonymous the bureau followers anonymous she put my UFO video on her page and I really appreciate that so big up to her um like I said I'm not looking for fame I'm so I, it's, I should be in a bit I should be kicking it on my computer on a Saturday but I'm so enthralled to hunt planets in the sky because I'm seeing something weird happen and I'm old enough to understand 
that I ain't too young to not know what's going on in the world anymore, you know? That's where I'm at. See what the sun looks like. The sun's got a lot of uh, filtered clouds around it, so we're going to need the sun where it is right now. For now. So this is going to be another wild day. Oh yeah, they were spraying around the moon. The X out around the moon. And I, I pulled out my night vision and I saw some funny looking clouds that had little, what I would consider asteroid uh, deals with them. So, I don't know. So, I did get some pictures and definitely um, my, my camera folds back further than this. My video does. So, um, this showed up spherical and that's in my west. All this right here, there it is. Showed up really spherical. And then this, uh, whatever this is, showed up spherical. Like I said, there's a light side. This is your dark side. And it's all above my head now. And these little asteroids are passing up under it. Whatever this is, the moons. So yeah, I would really prefer to be wrong, but um, since nobody's saying anything, and I'm, I don't, I'm not the type of makeup stuff, I have to figure it out. I'm looking at patterns. I don't just look directly at the object. I look around it. Oh, pardon me. I look around it. And I watch the, the movement. So I'll sit out here for hours and wait and wait and wait and wait. And that's enough time these things are moving so fast out in space, whatever they are, or in the sky, that there's some a pattern. I think there are multiple planets above my head. I think that's one <laughs> right here. So that one, that one, uh, of course this one above my head, that's three. Where's the other one? So I'm seeing three so far, maybe four. I think there's one right here, there, there, yep. There's another one coming out right here. Look at that. Damn it. So that would be, I don't know, how big they are, I don't know how far off they are from us, but it looks like um three big planets. It looks like this one, then this one right beside it, yeah, that one separate, and then the one that's right on top of me. I think that's what we're looking at. I don't know. Let me take some pictures, and those will tell a little bit better. Okay, back real quick. Um, time is 6.17. I was taking some pictures and using my other features of my camera, like my paranormal, uh, which allows me to catch the whole sky. I hope I said that right. I really didn't look at it. I'm still looking up. Um, I still see my planetoid right here. The cloud at the bottom is uh, what it's resting upon. It seems to be going from here to there. Yeah. Y'all should be able to see it. My other one seems to be sitting over here behind this one and I also see lateral bands so you see the tilt there's a different coloration in the in the, in the cloudage um, the other one seems to be sitting over here and then my other one actually my big one the one that's pulling is here so the clouds get go from white to dark something above our heads definitely and it looks like uh, it's cool this morning, so I don't know how cool it's going to be today. I need to look. But I think these things are definitely moving back down south. They went up north, and uh, they just look... Just, everything just feels crazy. You know what I mean? It's, this, is, this whole world feels crazy. Yesterday was a bit of a struggle. I heard police sirens going off. Uh... And just people were hard to deal with yesterday um, on my way home with my truck I had 30 minutes to my clock stop because those trucks you only get driving for 10 hours so I had 30 minutes left and I got within 2.4 miles of my exit that had me five minutes away from parking for the night and there was an accident a major accident I think somebody got killed that was I-95 I I North up going 
up by exit 66 they shut it down traffic was at a standstill so i had to since i was stuck in traffic i had to I literally slide my truck up to the side of the road and take my exit which was like 0.4 and everybody was just fighting me for they thought i was just trying to get ahead of them with that big truck but when you're on the time on the clock you don't have time to mess around and i have i lost time out there i had to sit in there for 10 hours and wait for my clock to recycle and that would have sucked so since 95 south was still flowing i jumped off on my exit it took me three minutes because i had to go through the lights literally and people there's another planet right here see that and um then i had to go back 95 and south hit the exit uh 10 which is going through a city called hopewell and cut up the back way to 295 just to get to my job and i literally as soon as i pulled into my job i, I ran out of time i've never been so stressed in my life because i just didn't not want to sit out there all night you can't abandon your truck so i had to sit out there dirty irritated tired and would have had to go to sleep for 10 hours just to be able to crank my truck up and drive it <laughs> 10 miles because of the world and then when i you know while i was after that you know i got de-stressed and then i got to this spot last night and while i'm recording the moon um you'll probably hear it in the in my uh video we'll have heard it because that's gonna post before this um i heard a la a very loud crash bang well, i almost stepped on this beetle oh that would have been cool i like bugs i respect bugs Tough beetle. Never seen one of these since like I was in Carolina. These are like a hissing beetle. Oops. I haven't seen one of these in damn near a decade. Yeah, that's a hissing beetle. I think. I remember I used to push on them and they hiss at me. I grew up with those horn beetles too, with the rhino, rhino head pieces. Yep, that's a hissing beetle. Huh, okay, awesome. Um, he almost literally, my foot was right beside him. So I'm stepping back from him. He came out crawling out the woods on me while I was looking up, and I just happened to, I felt its energy for real. I didn't see it, I felt something weird next to my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how my leg was right here, and it was literally this close. And I felt the energy shoot up my leg like something was wrong, and then I looked down while I was running my mouth about the accident. And he was right there and I almost stepped on him. So no. That's how powerful I've been feeling lately. Actually, I've been like that all my life. Let me, let me stop. It's, it's increased. I'll put it like that because I'll feel things before I see them. Literally. I just felt this freaking beetle. The energy of it crawl up to my leg. The energy surrounding it intertwined with my energy. And uh, he was literally less than an inch from me. A cute little bugger too. He crawled like he about to go lift some weights. <laughs> Look at him. Uh, it. Uh, I wanna get this ass whooping. First thing in the morning. Top of the morning to you. 6.23 in the morning, I'm gonna whoop some ass. I'm looking up at the sky and see some weird stuff. Just like this guy standing next to me, just whatever this is. Uh, something's, something's looking crazy, yeah, yeah. Okay, get back to your playlist. All right, thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. I hope that bird don't see it, he'll pick him off. All right, so, see the sun? You know, that was funny. <laughs> That's a big damn beetle, man. He's still crawling. He's probably gonna go pick up my dang truck. Probably gonna pick my damn truck up. Look at this. That's how far he is from my truck. That's trippy. I'm literally about uh, 15 feet away from that guy. 20 feet, and he looks astronomical. I said, like he about to go lift some weights. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm not gonna be on this too long. I just wanted to take a look up. Um, just things are looking weird, and I'm still BSing and letting the sky change its pattern, but also keeping up with it. Is that an asteroid? Tight rock moon. 
I don't know. That's definitely one above my head. Look at that. That asteroid. In the clear. And it just drifted in. My, and this is right below my planet, at, or to the side of my planet as it's passing over. And you can see the, the lateral bands, and then they're sweeping up on this side. Let me see. My other planet is right here. Sitting on top of this cloud. Just the, the pinch point of where it's hitting our atmosphere. And then you can see what's drifting off of it. And then my other planet somewhere over here behind these clouds. Here. Crazy. Oh, there it is. This one side of it being lit up. And damn, that's crazy. This is insane, y'all. So I just pointed out to you three major planets. Um, this one, you see the top of it. This big one above me with dragging its asteroids. And then this one over here sitting on this cloud. You can literally see that one. And it's wisping these clouds off of it. And it's dragging this right here. And the sun is coming up. So we're going to see some action today. I'm going to try not to be stuck on the whole, the whole deal. Meanwhile, this freaking beetle is crawling towards my truck. With his strong ass. I'm going to have to play the gold with your little strong ass for this guy. He's crawling right towards my truck. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go, buddy. I'm gonna have to monitor him. I ain't gonna let him get on my truck. I'd rather him get to that field over there. That's where he's headed. Yep, that's where he's headed. All right, so y'all hang tight. We'll see what else pops up today. If anything interesting, more than what we're looking at should pop up with the sky, then we'll jump back on it. Third eye cam, boo. All right, third eye cam back, same day. The time is 7.03. I've been sitting here just looking at the sky. I caught this one before. This is that pinwheel looking planet. I call it Little Mars. It's got that crater in it. Oh my God, look at that. No, that's a crater y'all. And a lot, of, a lot of blotches. All right, let me go back to my spot and I gotta get this. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to set my phone up on my tripod. I watched this thing materialize um, out of a weird looking sky. And when I zoom in on it, it's uh, icy looking. Those are not like clouds. <sighs> this is freaking insane. Because where does this damn thing come from? Let's get a good look on it. Let me get my shades. I do not have all my equipment, but this will have to suffice for now. This is uh, like it's changed so fast. I, I literally drove down the road within 20, 30 seconds from what I previously saw. And it's looking different, but it's the same deal. Now the sun is blinding me. Let me kind of hide myself from the sun so I can see. Okay, there we go. So this, this is some kind of like spatial anomaly <sighs> that looks like a cloud, but it's not a cloud. Let's get in close. These are ice, icy la layers, like mountains, hills, <laughs> protruding up from whatever this is. I've seen this before. Now it's gonna kind of fade out because it's the shadowing of it. And that's not the only thing that's up here. I see a whole lot of uh, tails, asteroids, um, what have you. I'm trying to get in so close that we see the mountain layers. And it's drifting off. It's just, this is getting ready to go into like some kind of obscurity. I'm trying to see if I see anything that looks cloudish looking. Look at this. Now the damn thing's starting to fade out because it's moving. But it's all one unit. And we're literally going to sit here and watch it fade.
the top portion of it is fading away so I think it's rolling into a different position you can kind of see the those cloud those those are probably chemical vapor type frozen clouds crystal type clouds in space on the surface of a planet body they're not evaporating like earth clouds do they're just moving out of position away from some there's something in front of it that's causing it to move out of position and fade like it's going behind a planet now you can still see it it's still solid See it? It's just going away. Look at that. Sickening. <laughs> so this whole little freaking asteroid came out. Y'all saw it. And now it's disappearing. I think it's going behind the planet. Yep, it's going into a shadow. There it freaking is. Okay, now I see it. So we got that right there. It's going behind the shadow of this. You can see the sun. It's going behind the shadow or something. Look at it. And that's what's left of it. Damn it. Like, how can I re re complete my research when I got stuff just phasing in and out? Because there's so many objects up there that some are moving behind the shadows or something. That's not a cloud. I know what a cloud looks like evaporating. That's still there. But it's, it's moving behind the shadow of something that is led behind in space. Hmm. It's still there. I can still see the whole damn thing. Still see the whole damn thing. It's going behind a, another body out in space. And, and I can't finish my research. This is the stuff I be talking about, you know? Well, we guys, uh, we just like all these little asteroids that are passing around this is a planet right here that's the lit side of it and to the right is a um the terminator it too is very far out there and i can see it coming into fruition slowly I see a rainbow over by the sun. Also, I'm gonna come back to this. And I think that's a, the rainbow is attached to a, another planet. I was looking at earlier, I saw another sphere moving. No, however space is made, they lie to us because like I'm seeing stuff move different. If there's a sunlight and there is a object that can be seen, but I see them phase in and out, that tells me that space is crowded right now with a lot of uh, Asteroidal rocks, heavenly bodies. We just sat here and saw me film this the very distinct uh, heavenly body, and then it moves into a shadow, and I can still see it. Yep, I can still see it. It moves into a shadow behind whatever, and it's right here. It moves into a shadow behind whatever and is in front of it and blotted it out, but I can still see the perimeter of it above the pole to the left in the 11 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock position. And then there's my moon coming out, see? There's a moon coming out into fruition. That's not our Earth moon. This is an asteroid rock. Look at that. And I see three craters on it. I think that's a skull face. Oh my god, I think that's the skull face. Looks like it. Looks like it's looking down. I might be wrong, but I'm just saying I see two eyes and a mouth and a chin. And a head shape. I gotta scowl back through my videos on YouTube. I think YouTube uh, took some of my videos down. Um, I gotta account for them. And that would piss me off. I'm looking for the one with the skull head. I can't find it. And I didn't, I made the mistake of him. 
made the mistake of not writing down the, you know, my findings. I'm gonna have to scour back through all my videos in my in a book, and I can't find my hard drive. I think my main hard drive that had all my videos on the crash from my earlier works. I don't know yet. So I'm still scouring. That's why I haven't put that video up. I'm still scouring to see if I can find it. All right, so that is definitely a moon coming around this planet. The moon is the planet is sitting on this cloud perch and you can see it wisping all the way around. These are the lines that's dragging at the tail. There's another asteroid right here um, and possibly a moon. But there's a whole planet. Oh, this is a planet. I can see it faintly. There's the lit side of it. It's the lit side. There's a dark side. There's a terminator line right there for night and day. I can definitely see that. And it's above my head, literally. Sorry for bumping the damn stand. And then it it's dragging that asteroid that we just saw, which is one of its smaller moons. We're indeed screwed in two directions. We got these planets closing in on us along with their asteroids and moonoids. And then we got our government who's monitoring this, ain't saying nothing to us. And the world's going crazy. All these asteroids and moons are coming into proximity of the Earth and the planets, causing earthquakes, volcanoes, eruptions, and what have you. And it's pulling on people's brain matter and people going crazy. I'm literally watching people go crazy. They can't even explain it. I'm gonna take a break. I'm tired. I'm still gonna go get some more sleep. I just wanted to show you all that. So y'all hang tight. This world is done. I really don't believe in the system anymore. The reason why I can say that, I went all the way up to the position of, you know, being a combat war veteran, like a lot of us war, war veterans. And then we come back to a country that fails us. I still have to deal with idiot sticks, thinking I'm worthless because of my skin color. And I'm not saying that because I don't use that as a selling pitch. You gotta understand I've been around people that learn how to be honorable, more honorable than they were before with me having dealt with the Marines. And you get to a point you don't see color, you just see camouflage. You still see each other, but you don't have major issues with each other. Now whether or not, whether or not these guys get out and still go back, revert back to the same way, I don't know. But for the time that I served with them, they were very honorable. But the people that are in charge in this world are very dishonorable. So don't hold my feet to the fire. Expect me to be honorable and you're not. All right, stand by third, I came poo. All right, third, I came back. Same date, the time is 11.33. Um, I'm in Colonial Heights up by Walmart and just walked out and this is what popped up. terrain this is uh the side of the bottom of an asteroid just showing it to y'all so it's kind of drifting in i don't know if it might be a planet but it looks like the side of the bottom of an asteroid we'll be back